Okay, this is question number two from June 2022, the P1 paper. Uh, let's have a look at it. We can see that this is a trigonometric ratios question. Uh, it tells me in the question here, we're going to be using the sine rule to solve this. So let's make a start on it. Uh, it says I've got a triangle ABC. So let's just draw a triangle out. Where AB is equal to, well, let's label it first. I'm going to call this A, this B, and this C. AB is equal to 21 centimetres. BC is equal to 13 centimetres. So, yeah, my diagram looks all right. 13 there being a little bit shorter than that 21. Um, angle BAC, that's that one over there, is equal to 25 degrees. And they're telling me that ACB, ACB is here. That's going to be equal to x. And they're saying use the sine rule to find the value of sine x, giving your answer to four decimal places. So hopefully you've done some work on the sine rule and you understand that what we're looking for are pairs. I've got a side there and an angle where the side is opposite the angle over there. So that pairing I can use in the sine rule. And in addition to that, I've got these two as well the x and the 21 so this looks okay i've got three out of the four things that i need let's write down what the sine rule is so the sine rule says sine a over a is equal to sine b over b is equal to sine c over c but i only ever write two of them down and then using those pairings so the two that i know at the moment uh, sine x over 21 because I'm going to be looking for sine x in a minute, is equal to that other pairing, these ones here, is going to be equal to sine 25 over 13. You can always use the sine rule inverted and have it as a over sine a and b over sine b, but we're looking for an angle here, so I would use this variation of it. And this is dead straightforward now, so sine x, this is just algebra, I know it looks complicated, but the 21 can go over the other side and become multiplied. So I've got 21 times sine 25 all over 13, and I can do that all in one go to then get my value for sine x. Uh, if you stick that into a calculator, and they said four decimal places there, so my answer works out to be sine x is equal to 0.6827. So what does part B say? Part B says, find the value of X, giving your answer to two decimal places, if we know that A is the longest side of the triangle. So let's just spend a couple of seconds uh, before we do anything else, just explaining what that means. You should all know, this should be something that you've been taught already, that we've got this sort of idea here, where we could have a situation where sine x equaling to an angle, say that we had this situation here, A, B, and then C1 could either be there or C2 could be there, where I know this length x, and I've got a possibility of sine x from that situation or sine x from that situation, and both of them would have a value y here and a value y here there as well so when we're looking at this there are two possibilities coming from sine x equals 0 0.6827 okay if we do sine to the minus one of 0 0.6827 we're going to get an acute value for our answer because the calculator doesn't know what we're doing so the calculator just gives me 43.05 um, degrees that would be sort of like this case here where 43.05 there but our answer could be an obtuse angle so actually what we should technically do is to write down that the inverse sine of uh, 0 0.6827 is 43.05 or 139 sorry 136.95 tied up 136.95 those are the two possibilities for our situation that we had at the moment we know that's true 
So I have those two possibilities. And then the extra piece of information they gave me was they told me that AB was the longest side in the triangle. Well, if it's the longest side in the triangle, then I can see that actually the original diagram I drew was correct. This angle here has to be the obtuse version rather than the acute version. So that means that my actual answer, and I need to tidy this up now for what I'd leave from the examiner, is I wouldn't need all of this, this was just an explanation. So I'd say, if sine alpha equals that, sine whatever angle is equal to that, gives me those two. And then since AB is the longest side, X is equal to the larger of the two values there. Okay, so that's actually my written answer for it, but with an explanation there that hopefully makes sense.